Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakah Kodash. And next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of the Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people hear or whether they forbear. All right, so this lesson is going to be entitled you've got two ears and one mouth so listen twice as much as you speak all right i'll say it again okay you've got two ears and you got one mouth so listen twice as much as you speak and the inspiration for this lesson uh comes from just uh me you know i'm a student uh and also on top of that you know i'm a, I'm a teacher as well i'm a teacher of the word and one of the things that I find with a lot of people, the reason why they can't uh, advance in their level of understanding is because they talk too much. All right. When you're in a situation where you're trying to learn something. OK, and this this can apply to the truth. All right. Which this video is really for. It's for the truth. But it can apply to anything in your life. When you're trying to learn. All right. You need to zip it. All right. Keep your mouth shut so that you can learn and and and, uh, and soak up what's being what's being brought out okay what's being spoken of it's an old saying that they say in the world all right they say you got two ears and one mouth why do you think the lord did that all right because you need to be listening twice as much as you speak so we're going to get some precepts on that and lord's will is edifying to the elect all right this is the book of sirach chapter 6 and verse 32 it says my son if thou will thou shalt be taught and if thou will apply thy mind Thou shall be prudent. Our right, prudent is another word for wit, for wise. Okay, having wisdom. It says, if thou love to hear, thou shall receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shall be wise. Okay, so if you love to hear, okay, most people they love to speak, but they ain't talking about nothing. All right, and I, I say this, you know, I would say pretty often, you know, especially when I'm out there, you know, when I'm preaching or making videos. Okay, I tell you, you don't really get much conversation out of me. All right, I used to be very talkative. I was popular in the world. I had lots of friends and all that. All right, but I was a fool. I, I was a dancing monkey. All right, and I spoke more than I than I um uh, I spoke more than I listened. All right, and there's a scripture. It says a fool is known by the multitude of his words. All right, it's in Ecclesiastes somewhere. I can't remember exactly what chapter it is, but maybe a brother could put that on the comment board. Okay, but you have to love to hear. Okay. Also, not only that, but it's also beneficial because then you're able to uh, have better discernment. Okay, when you're, even when you're dealing with people in the world, if you let them speak, they will tell on themselves. But you have to let them talk. All right. Sometimes less is more. Okay. Even with women. All right. When you're dealing with a woman. Okay. If she, you know, if you're around her, then you know when you're having conversations with her, you know, let her speak, and that's going to expose, you know, uh, where, where her mind is at. All right, which is very important. You know, if you're going to deal with the woman in this truth, okay, because you can't have some some uh, unruly, cantankerous woman that is uh, derailing you. All right. But continuing on, Sirach 6 and 34 says, stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. I right, cleave means to grab hold on to all right, to stick to. It says, be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Meaning constantly be spending time company with wise men. Okay, that's, that's another precept. Okay, you know, you, uh, a companion of fools shall be destroyed, but uh, he who, who, who hangs out with wise men shall be wise. Something to that effect. All right, brother could put that up in the scripture, up in the comment board. Excuse me, that's in the book of Proverbs somewhere. All right. It says, um, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. All right, and also another backup scripture, Matthew 12 and 36, I know off the top of my head. Okay, it, it, it uh, says something to the effect of how it says for every idle word, man shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. All right, so you guys, you can't just be, you know, rabbling, man. All right. Another scripture says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. So, you know, we ought to be talk. Uh, we ought to be speak. Excuse me. We ought to be listening more than we speak. All right. Let's get another precept. So, Rock chapter eight and verse eight. 
It says, despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their proverbs. For of them thou shalt learn instruction and in how to serve great men with ease. Miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learned of their fathers, and of them shalt thou learn understanding and give answer as need requireth. All right, so how are you going to do that if, if the elders are speaking, okay, and you're just you're over talking them or like, for example, I like to spend a lot of time alone because when I'm not making videos or reading, I'm listening to other brothers videos. And one of the one of the things that really gets on my nerves is when I'm trying to get in the zone, listening to, you know, an elder speak. All right. And you got a bunch of people trying to have conversations with me in the background. All right. That's why I like to be alone so that I can study. OK, without any distractions. No, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. It's very annoying. But the point is, is that, you know, if if, um, if you're watching a video and, and you got to pause the video every couple minutes because you because someone's trying to talk to you or you're trying to talk to someone else, what are you going to learn? You're not really going to learn anything. You have to bow your ear. All right. You have to you have to attend to listening. All right. Let's get another preset. OK, now we're leaving the book of Sirach and we're going to Ecclesiastes. All right. Chapter five. OK. And verse one says, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the most high and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools for they consider not that they do evil all right and when um for example okay when we're out there on the highways and byways people will come and try to talk to us and they want to act as if they know just as much as we do and you don't all right if you did you'd be out there preaching you'd be out there prophesying you do not know as much as we do all right you're not on the same level spiritually as we are you don't have the mysteries so if you want to learn them, okay, you want to gain understanding, you have to be quiet. You have to shut your mouth. Be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Because anything that's not edifying to the lesson that's being brought out is a sacrifice of fools. All right. And you consider not that you do evil. And I'm not talking about brothers on the comment board. When you post a uh, scripture on the comment board, that's much appreciated. You are adding to the lesson for the viewers. So that is much appreciated. But I'm talking about, like I said, mostly people who come up in person you know and try to act like they're going to teach it's like no if, if you if you if you had the ability to teach you'd be out there doing it all right but you don't all right so you, like i said okay give not the sacrifice of fools because what you're doing is evil it's wicked you may not realize it but you're distracting the lesson all right and it's the lord that's speaking okay verse two it says be not rash with thy mouth and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the most high for Yahweh is in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Okay, even when you're, you know, uh, um, praying, okay, don't get, you don't have to give vain repetitions. You pray for something and you, you sit back and you wait for Yahweh from Yahweh Shai to grant it to you if it's within his will. All right, sometimes he won't give you something because he knows better than we do and you just got to accept that. All right. But even with dealing with the Heavenly Father, don't, don't be just, you know, don't be so, um, don't be so quick to use just use a bunch of words, man. But just vain, just vain babbling. All right, don't be, don't do that. All right. It says, verse three, for a dream coming through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. That's the one I was quoting earlier. All right, a fool's vo voice is known by a multitude of words. Okay, Proverbs twenty, uh, Proverbs seventeen, excuse me, Proverbs seventeen and verse twenty-seven. All right, and it reads, it says, he that hath knowledge spareth his words. Okay, you have the wisdom, you're not going to be talking much. Because what is there really to talk about except for this truth? Like I said, if, if we're not speaking about the scriptures, ain't really much conversation you can get out of me. I may crack, you know, jokes here and there. All right, but for the most part, my conversation is in heaven. Okay, my manner of life is 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 fully dedicated to to the Lord, man. All right, and same with the, uh, you know, all the words that I speak. Okay, you the words that you speak is part of your manner of life. Okay. So I'm going to use spare words unless I'm talking about something pertaining to salvation. Okay. And it says, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Okay. Verse 28. It says, even a fool when he holdeth his peace is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. That's fire. All right. We'll get a few more scriptures. Give it a close out. Just something quick. So rock seven and 14. All right, it says, use not many multitudes, excuse me, use not, not many words in a multitude of elders and make not much babbling when thou prayest. So that just sums up kind of what we were, you know, what we were speaking, all right, what I was going into, okay? 
in the presence of elders or brothers or if edification is being brought out okay use your words sparingly you ought to be especially if you uh, are a brand new in the truth which you know i would be considered new i've only been around a couple years but um you know if you are like just now coming across the men of the lord okay you need to humble yourself and be quiet so that you can soak up the knowledge have a notepad ready be taking notes all right that's how you're going to grow that's how you're going to get wisdom and there's a scripture in the book of Sirach, it says that there is it says um there's not much more to be valued than a mind well instructed okay something to that effect i think it's Sirach 25th chapter all right it says a silent and loving woman is a gift from the lord and there's not nothing more valuable than a mind well instructed something like that all right but once again okay you got two ears all right and you got one mouth you got to be uh, you got to be listening twice as much as you speak this is isaiah chapter 50 isaiah chapter 50 and verse 4 it says the lord yahweh hath given me the tongue of the learned that i should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary he wakeneth morning by morning he waketh mine ear to hear as the learned the lord yahweh hath opened mine ear and i was not rebellious neither turned away back okay so he opens your ears and what do you do you're supposed to listen how are you going to listen if you speaking over the person who is trying to edify you all right so that's just a quick quick little video i want to bring out uh, something that i've been thinking about the past week or so okay because um something i come across a lot i know the truth is exciting i get that you know but uh, um uh, hold and contain your spirit you know and, and understand that when you come across the men of the lord okay that it's a very serious thing it's a solemn assembly all right we're not out there to play around to joke around we're not out there to entertain we're out there to edify the flock and the only way that we can edify is if we have uh, your full attention okay so with that being said lord's will is edifying as always i'm gonna give our praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash and until next time shalom